So, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Ma'am, ma'am, I can't forget about you, ma'am. So, we're gonna be fixing to get the wagon in here. Got a chassis we're gonna build for that. All right, so before we begin pulling the wagon in here, I really need to button up a few important suspension pieces on the Samurai golf cart build. Those of you that don't know, here's a link to the Samurai golf cart that I started or haven't had a chance to finish yet, but you can check out some of those videos. Basically what we're doing is building a chassis for a samurai that I have, I have a spare body. I've got my Honduki power plant. If you don't know what that is, it'll be in that same video or, or playlist rather. So basically I need to fab up some upper and lower control arms for this um, golf cart, the chassis. And the reason being is I need to get it off the table because I got to get the wagon's chassis on that table. What I need to do is, I got to get this rack welded on. I got to weld some nuts to the back sides of the tab, weld the tabs on to the chassis for the steering rack. And we're just going to bend up some pipe. We have our pivots. These are our lower pivot, our upper pivot that I got to re drill. I'm going to have clearance issue. If I use the bolt holes that I had drilled the first time, no big deal. Weld some nuts on the back side of our steering rack. Get our steering rack bolted on. Bend up some arms for the uppers. Bend some from the lowers. And reason being is, if I don't do this now, and I sit this on the floor or on a table or something, because I need this table, the chassis table, I'm going to have issues with my suspension. I don't want to lose my measurements I've got now. It's very important that I bend up some arms. It'll only take me a few minutes, maybe an hour or so, to get this all situated. This is where stuff gets interesting and I want to help shine the light on suspension geometry. No, I'm not a suspension guru. I have not built, you know, a ton of cars or trucks. But with that being said, I have the understanding on how to build suspension and I'd like to share what I know with you guys. So you have six, uh, excuse me, five sets of pivots. Okay. One for the lower control arm, two for the steering rack, which is this right here. That's your pivot. Three for your upper control arm, four, your ball joint, and five, your lower ball joint, your upper and your lower. So where do you begin? Well, pretty simple. You take your measurement from your upper to your lower, your lower to your upper, 10 and a half inches, okay? so. Knowing that you've got 10 and a half inches here, that means you're going to need 10 and a half inches over here. Everything must stay parallel with one another. So 10 and a half inches is going to put me basically on top of the chassis here. So I'm going to cheat it a little bit. I'm going to shim this up. I'm going to shim the lower one because I've got more room. But <laughs> I'm gonna go to about 11. I need to elevate the upper pivot. So I need 10 and a half inches from the lower to the upper. These are your mounting points for your upper and your lower control arms. So 10 and a half inches is almost gonna put me on top of the frame rail. These arms are actually gonna be very, very short, okay? This is not the bend I'm going to be using, but I'm just going to use this as a reference. So, for argument's sake, if I had 
I had my mounting right here, they're going to end up hitting the top of the frame rail here, the corner. So I need to kind of give myself some real, so a little, little more real estate, about a half an inch or so, and you can see the difference from what a half an inch makes. I can also bevel the edge. Stay. I can also bevel, instead of notching this in the center, I can just notch the lower portion of it to cheat it a little bit. So this will be mounted a little higher and that will give me some more real estate for mounting my upper control arm. So anyway, with that being said. All right, so before we drill our second hole, we're gonna verify our measurements. I've got 11 and three quarters on this side. And we've got 11 and three quarter on this side. Beautiful. So we're gonna lock this down, drill our second hole. Should be at four and four and three quarter degrees is where we should be at. Four and a half. Five degrees on the lower. And four and three quarter on the upper. Awesome. I'm going to mark this out because we're going to end up cutting this off. This is just extra material we don't need. Beautiful. Now we can go ahead and get our other side on. So I had to cheat a little. These are these Chinese bushings I got for the upper control arms. They obviously are made in China. This is USA DOM, and this was the closest size that I could find to slide into this. I don't have a, a lathe, you know, to, to cut it open. So what I've done is, is I've cut open the center, locking the bushing in the vise like so, squeezing it till it's snug, which is right about here and I'm welding this up. Bingo dingo. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm feeling it, man. I am feeling it. Ooh, dang it. Let's get 
this one done. All in a day's work. Not bad, not bad. Now we gotta do the lowers. Yahoo! So, fortunately, I've got one bent up. I wanna say it's at 60 degrees. I'm not mistaken from the Samurai. We're gonna use that as a template. Let me show you what I'm thinking. Basically what I'm looking for is I can move this bend wherever I want it. You know, it could be like this, it could be like this. I want my, my arms to be straight right there. And right here. Now I'm gonna cut these longer just to be safe. These are 120 wall, I believe. You see how thick they are, pretty diesel. So these are obviously the lowers. I did that purposely. I ordered thicker material for the bottoms. Cut my ends. Pretty dang close. Now all I gotta do is uh, bevel them up like a these. Oh yeah. It's almost money. Awesome. Very nice, very nice. Alrighty, you can tell by my crazy hair, it was a long day today. Absolutely long, longer than expected. Got the front end done on the Samurai golf cart. Check it out. So today we made the tubular uppers and lowers for both sides. Got the, uh, the rack mounted, 100%. Our pivots are all good. Everything is in line with one another. Everything flows very nice. And that's as far as I'm gonna go with this for now. So this is gonna stay where it is until we get the wagon done. You can see things are tight in here right now, which is no big deal. Currently I'm scoping this out, how I wanna handle this to lay rocker. Got a laser line shot and you can see we're into the oil pan. So I've got to make some decisions. That's for tomorrow. A lot of thinking. We're not going to just jump the gun and tear it apart. That's not how we do it. Proper planning prevents piss poor performance. Everything's parallel with one another. Nicey nice. Our caster is set. Our camber is good. We're not dealing with any uh, issues. Our toe in and toe out is good. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like the content that you're seeing, consider subscribing. If you are not subscribed, comment down below, hey man, I like what you're doing. Or, hey, what on earth are you doing? It's terrible. Either way, man, send it, like I always say. Because without you, these videos are not possible. That is true and accurate information. Gonna pull the ripcord, that's it for today. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Gonna work on the wagon. Talk to you soon.